So from the Category 5 newsroom, when USB was introduced, it quickly did away with the tedious install installation of printers, external optical drives, and more. These days, even Windows users are saving CDs by finding their device drivers built directly into the device itself. The global adoption of USB standard uh, resulted in practically every computer system, including USB ports for various devices, uh, from the original 12 megabits per second transfer rate to the release of USB 2.0 in early 2000, launching a throughput of up to 480 megabits per second. USB is synonymous with almost every available device on the market. Here we are, nearly 10 years later, not a lot has changed with USB, and the technology hasn't seen any mainstream change during that time. With the release of the modern Linux kernel, however, Linux users, including those on Karmic, uh, Ubuntu's latest edition, are now able to utilize a new standard alongside compatible hardware called USB 3.0. Whew! 3.0. USB 3.0 promises a throughput of up to 5 gigabits per second, putting it in line to compete with ESATA and opening up external device market to introduce screaming fast technologies, high definition video devices, ultra fast scanners, and of course, external data storage. Beautiful. It'll keep up with the fastest mainstream devices. Uh, but again, what makes USB 3.0 truly unique and truly exceptional is not just the speed, but also that it is backward compatible all the way back to USB 1.0. So that means if you take that USB 3.0 device that's screaming fast, take it out of that computer and plug it into a really old computer, while you're going to sacrifice some of the speed, uh, you will be able to access that device. Cool news. I think we're going to start seeing that. Uh, in the new year as the devices uh, start to become a part of hardware that is purchased, motherboards and things. There are some PCI Express cards available now. But Linux, including Karmic, right now, the, the currently running kernel contains support drivers for USB 